going on guys crank fishing here and today I'm going to be doing my tackle box showcase so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my hard baits and soft plastics such as frogs and stuff then I'm going to go through my spinners and buzz baits then my um plastics and then my few hooks and stuff so here I'm going to start off with my hard baits and soft plastics and the first one I have is this Booyah Poppin' Frog. And this Poppin' Frog I like because you're basically getting two in one. You can walk it like a normal frog or you can pop it and it spits up. So, and then next I have another frog. It's a, uh, um, forgot the brand. Um, but... This isn't a popping frog, it's just a normal um, frog, but it has the legs on it that just, you can pop it and the legs just pull like that. So, and there's that. Here we have a Strike King top, top water square bill. This has very, very sharp hooks on it. And yeah. And here we have just a, another me, medium diving crankbait that was on sale at my local Walmart. And hooks on it are good quality. And here we have probably my favorite bait in this whole thing that I've used. This is, the, most of y'all probably know, the Jitterbug. This is a top water that has a very unique action because of this thing on the front of it. It goes through the water and it hunts pretty much. It goes back and forth and like this so it just goes like that. And it has a really unique action that the fish just can't help to have. And here we have again just another joke bait that was on sale at my local Walmart. I haven't had the chance to try it out, but you can definitely see this thing getting some action once I start fishing some more. And these were just all in one pack. They're very cheap. Hooks, I don't know if you can see that. If you look at the red and pink, that hook was actually straightened out by um decent sized bass that wasn't even a monster or anything. So now we're done with the hard baits and now we're going on to our spinnies. So here we have, I don't even know the brand of it, but it's a black and blue just your normal everyday spinner. So, and it was on sale for a dollar at my local Walmart. So, and here we have a generic two-blade green and chartreuse buzz bait. This, again, no idea what brand, but it was on sale for a dollar at my local Walmart. Now here we have a few beetle spins. This one I like because of its swim bait body. Not only does this spin, but this spins through the water and gives this just a really unique action. I have a bigger one of those and a smaller one just like it right here. And here we just have some bigger beetle spins, smaller beetle spins, different colors, all those. And here we have just some bodies. I don't know where they came from. But here we, now we have my soft plastics. I have these like melon color plastics and these are just ones that will throw Texas rig or anything. These are my one of my creature baits I have here and it's a lizard so I just have that I might Texas rig it sometimes or anything. Here we just have some little purple long-tailed, ribbon-tailed worms. The, they have a long tail, which I don't really like, 
but I can always just clip it off for something when I need it. And I'll throw this Texas wig too. Same with these. This is just uh, two different color styles of color, but I'll put in the same there. Red and blue with just different sparkles in it. This one does good in dirty water. This one also does good in dirty water. So if you're fishing dirty water, I'd highly recommend this color. And here we have my claws, which I use as my jig trailers. I think they are green pumpkin. And here we have my jig with a trailer on it. Just a standard black and blue jig. So and there's that. And now we have my hooks here. And these are just your standard double lot on the round. Same thing there. And these are my dad gave me. I will probably never use these because of how rusted they are. And here we just have some standard lead weights that I use for bullet. I mean for Texas rigging. And I keep all this stuff in a ugly stick just camouflage bag comes with plier holders not it doesn't come with pliers but if you get pliers don't know what brand these are but I'd highly recommend these they get the job done and one thing I also always keep in my tackle box is in case I lose those pliers I always keep a Winchester multi-tool in here. So it has your standard multi-tool pliers and then it has screwdrivers, saws and different blades and yeah. Let me get the real blade out here and there's the knife that it comes with the good knife comes decently sharp haven't had any problems with it yeah just stick it in that side pocket and leave it until I need it so that has been my tackle box showcase and I'll catch you guys next time